Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So in the last episode it's going to definitely lag for a little bit because our colony is getting quite big. We have almost 500 beavers. So yeah, in the last episode we our focus has been really to try and get the efficient mine up to increase our scrap metal production and right now we've got all the logs that we need more than half of the tree the planks as well and the gear as well almost almost a halfway mark there whilst i was preparing for this episode quickly a couple of things i've done so since this district over here has quite a few spare beavers we are uh, adding a couple more builder huts then we are also adding this house over here and I think it's time to also, you know, detonate all these uh, little dynamites that we have. But we, we are going to decide to move those platforms over by a little. So let's uh, detonate this section so that we can make way for the other set of dynamites. Okay, so that's uh, something we're doing. The water is definitely going low and we are going to have to keep an eye on the water levels in District 1 as well. Because I have turned off those water pumps. Uh, yeah. I, I want to save this water to keep everything fertile and since there is another 18 days to go I'm a little bit worried about this whole situation so I have a feeling we're gonna have to put some more pumps in here and use those beavers to pump even more water out but let's give it another day before we get to that okay also these uh, shacks over here we've bossed them as well I think we've got enough maple syrup now 700 in the bank so yeah that's definitely gonna be enough i've just asked the beavers to empty these out and once they are empty we shall definitely you know delete them other things i did notice in the recording in the last episode that i was quite worried about our levels of the pine resin but for some reason i did not notice this little icon here which is for the pine resin of course and we we had tons of it i mean it's i i think it's starting to go down a little bit but not too crazy so yeah these two over here should keep us topped up and just a second ago we also completed this wood workshop over here and yeah it's not the fastest but then again it it's giving us one treated blank every three hours as long as we have enough power of course now what we can do however is how about we build just another one right over there and if we can get this constructed that would be uh, would be great this uh, large metal platform is almost done we just need one more metal and yeah then it's then it's complete and um i think for the staircase as well we already have both these breeding boards in here so yeah we'll probably do the spiral the staircase going down a little bit and then uh, straight through what is definitely gonna make it a little bit trickier is we're we're gonna have to move some things and roads around a little bit so we'll lose access into certain sections for a little bit of time but um i'm, I'm sure we'll make it so there's a very minimal disruption to all of those services so that's quite a few things already now before starting to record this episode i've just been looking at this area i really want to start building this amusement park or at least planning it out however getting rid of this uh, was a uh, you know it's it's quite a quite a challenge so i'll explain it uh, really quickly as well in case you have forgotten oh wait a second before we get to it why don't we just put in a few platforms so we could get this future power network done and you're gonna need some roads on top of you as well so whilst the beavers are you know doing nothing over there they can start constructing all that okay cool so coming back to this uh a the reach so the furthest we can go with this distri uh, distribution post is right about here that's as far as we can go right so even if we place you here and let's say all these drop of points get moved i don't know somewhere up here perhaps or maybe alongside this cliff over here it's still quite a distance for the beavers to haul all the resources and uh, yeah that's definitely gonna slow down the supply a little bit but then then again looking at what we are sending over uh, we've got dynamites planks some metal paper gears and treated planks what they are most likely most likely sending over right now are the treated planks 
gears and dynamites. I don't think we're sending so many blanks, metal and paper over right now. I'm pretty sure we're quite full with that in uh, in here. However, yeah, so they, they should be able to keep up, especially if there's eight of them as well. I know we're getting a little bit distracted, but I do want to have all these dynamites in place. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so what I have come up with is, yes, this zone is going to be for District 1, for the amusement park. And the Dragon's Keep will have it here. Now, what I'm thinking, the Temple District currently, because their amusement park is here. But what if we steal this little uh, uh, strip over here to house all the drop-off points? Because our reach is all the way here. That's uh, all looking pretty, pretty beautiful still. So for the temporary solution, what we could start doing at least is let's put in a few platforms. And I believe, how many do we have in there? Five. Okay, so we are going to need one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, fantastic. I know we're going to have to move all those resources and set it up again, but that's, uh, you know, that's minimal. And by doing this little sort of floating island over here, uh, it's definitely going to cut down the, the distance to those drop-off points and hopefully slow down the delays of uh, getting resources into that district as well. So that's all planned in now. I'm not going to destroy these wooden stairs just yet. We'll let them build or construct all those platforms first. And once that is done, we'll, uh, you know, just cut those links and reconnect them with platforms instead. So that's how we're going to manage that. Uh, since now it is evening, wait a second, we're back in the morning. Yep, it seems I talked long enough to get through the night. So that is all good. Let us have a look. Have we? Yep, you can definitely notice quite a bit of lag in the game already. I think we can take these connections out. And now that all these levees are in place, I believe it's time to construct this barrack over here and have some beavers move in as well. Since this whole region is going to turn into more of the Iron Teeth faction, we will have to, uh, at least in the future, start sending through some berries for them as well, so that way they can uh, reproduce. But that's okay. I believe we, we, we should have plenty. Actually, we should probably check how many do we have. If we look at berries, oh yeah, 200 over there. But in, if this berry field goes, we could always do a berry field somewhere around this. Um, yeah, we got a bit of spare uh, space over here, so that's uh, that's all good. Okay, whilst we've been zooming around, this reminded me that I have uh, asked the beavers to get rid of all these trees in this area. And I built a quick temporary forester here. It seems we are, yeah, planting quite a few more chestnut trees now. And these gatherer flags actually have a pretty decent range on them. So, so yeah, that should be quite handy. They've cleaned up this whole area of the chestnuts. So why don't we give them a bit more space to work with? And it seems we could actually do, do the same in here as well. We just have to build another forester somewhere there because this range isn't the greatest. Yeah, but this uh, location here could be could be pretty good. To slap one of them down. Yep, right about there. All right, happy days. Now this section here, it looks like uh, they're not connected, but this is just to prepare to move all these drop of points over here. Yep, I do want to clean up this area a little bit more as well. So as soon as, you know, most of the, I, th I believe it's already done, isn't it? Yeah, most of this area, all the resources that we need in here. Oh, it's just the food items that we are feeding over okay but that's okay as well so um yeah any second we'll just make a quick switch and move the gate oh this house over here wait a second if we pause you i believe we still have plenty of beds don't we yes nobody is homeless anymore so that's all good and now we can just get rid of the trees and um okay happy days Let's have a quick look at this road over here. All the dynamites seem to be in now. So that is fantastic. Let's get all these platforms in. I think we can do them all now. Yes, we can. So that is wonderful. And uh, so you guys can start building all that. And if we look over here, have you finished constructing this? No, we haven't. And that's because of gears. And that's because of power. Uh, okay. Seems the wind has really calmed down, so... Yep, that's okay. 
car. There's still a lot of small trees in here. You know what? We're not in the in a rush to get this area completed because we don't even have metal. So, yep, that's fine. At least we got the first metal platform in place. So that's uh, that's lovely. If we go down a few levels, scrolling the wrong way. Let's take a look. Okay, there we go. That's pretty cool. It is. I can just feel the pain of uh, trying to figure out how to get rid of all these roads uh, to put those platforms in. Yeah, that's definitely a bit of a challenge, but it is for another day, fortunately. Now, everything, of course, is still paused in the, the pyramid district over there. But if we have a quick look and in yeah how are we doing okay i hope you you should have enough food right yeah plenty here lots of potatoes bit of bread not too much though okay well at least they're not starving so that's uh that's all good and i am still still planning to cut all this down as well but it's all just on a bit of a pause for the time being since this whole area is getting loads of dynamites in and it seems, oh, wait a second, there are still a few more, but it is too far from the beavers. Okay, <laughs> let's do a quick check. And yep, the roads only run about there. And that's really not helping. Um, You know what? It's okay. As we said, I believe in the previous couple of episodes as well. If we have to, we can always create a new district in here and also, you know, get rid of those dynamites. But for now... I think this is pretty nice area and yep almost half the gears almost 200 treated blanks so we're not too far off we might not be able to have it constructed in this episode but that's okay because the water is still here as well so even if we manage to complete it we still have to get rid of the forest and mm -hmm, not the forest the water so in preparation for that we have cleared up this forest here and we just need to connect the roads and off we go maybe a uh, wrong one let's give you a slightly higher priority all right it is night time let's skip it and we'll be back in the morning so one of those houses is now built and what we have to do is just connect you up real quick and how many spare beds oh we got quite a few so how about we pause you everyone relocate to those brand new houses over there and I believe you can now go as well, which is pretty lovely. Okay, the road can go through there. And something I'm still not sure if we if we want to destroy this mountain or maybe build on top of it. I mean, the safer bet is probably to let's do a couple of levees in here. Because with the houses, it's a quick fix. You know, we can always delete one and dynamite our way into here. I'm not really sure how many beavers do we want to have in this district so by doing levies i think uh yeah we should be pretty fine with this did we oh yeah we did do the iron teeth ones okay cool now let's have a look here are you guys already doing the last of the dynamite yes we are so that is great are you able to reach these ones as well i really hope so okay these builder huts are done and we still had about two beavers spare okay i think when we're zooming around the map we'll probably have to pause it for a second okay last set of dynamites would you go i'd love if you guys construct the last of uh, the last dynamite as well are you going over yes you are okay cool let's pause it for a second we'll take this uh, strip of road out as well dynamites go in are you able to reach no you are not okay fine you know what we'll take a few of you out and we'll stick a road in here and as usual highest priority okay get this done now this section here are you all connected as well you are i just really can't wait to set this whole thing off where are you off to now you just constructed 31 percent and you think you can already go on a break well that's not good all right what about you jeffrey are you gonna finish the job yes it seems okay so let's uh, let those beavers try and finish that over there have a look, quick look in this area as well so the platforms are now ready so what we can do is uh, <laughs> let's uh, remove the stairs right about here there's no one underneath is it no okay great now what your priority will be is to construct these stairs over here 
And we're also going to need platforms here and there. So give you a slightly, slightly high priority. You can be connected up and same right about there. Happy days. And now all we have to build is a couple of drop off points. Let's uh, turn you around. Okay. And we've got the five that we needed. All right. Happy days. As soon as this is done, we can uh, reconnect or redistribute all those goods. And it seems we just have too much maple syrup in the region, don't we? Yeah. Maybe we just delete those houses and uh, we'll start figuring out how we go about planning this whole area in here. Now, what about these dynamites? Oh, wait a second. It seems we actually forgot to schedule you in just a couple more layers to go. And then we are done. All right, another night. Dynamites are almost ready. You can reach. Okay, yes, you can. So that's all good. We'll give them another day. Let's get the last of it in. And then we are going to lower it by one more level. Okay, and back we are. Since gear seems to be quite a quite a problem in Dragon's Keep, I can't believe how many gears we're going through. Uh, I think we have quite a few stations. So yes, we are going to build another two right about here. I know there are going to be some power drops here and there, but right now we've got twice of uh, what we need. So yeah, we can definitely have a couple more stations producing a few more gears for us. I mean, overall, there are 300, but they are just scattered around the map. Okay, moving on. Oh, water is pretty low, so definitely going to have to top this one up. Yeah, I do need to lower this level as well. So when it comes to the rainy season, we can have way more water stored uh, just uh, feels there's quite a quite a lot of things to do and um, trying to stay on top of it uh, definitely becomes a little bit more challenging. All right, how many spare beavers do we have here? 14. Ooh, that's quite a few. I believe you've done your job, haven't you? Yep, that's as far as he can go. So we can pause you again and maybe you can go and help out elsewhere or just, you know, hang out around the area. Okay. I think we've gone pretty dry here as well. And since we don't want to lose the progress with all these resources here, how much more time? Uh, 0 0.7 days. Well, I sure hope this fills up a little bit quicker. Yes, we should have plenty of water, so everything will be good. All right, let's move over here. There is a little bit of road left, but it's only five dynamites. So let's uh, put a few more here and we'll give you a high priority as soon as this is done. Uh, maybe we can already hide the UI. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a lot of dynamites. And this uh, section here as well. Probably want to delete this, but I think we cannot wait any longer. I really hope it's not going to crash the game or anything. But here we go. And the last of the dynamites. Wait. Did you just 94% and you run off? Okay, well, let's skip the night again. And in the morning, we should be ready to detonate this whole area. And here we go. I believe everything is pretty much ready. So why don't we start? You know what? Let's uh, let's do it from this side. Uh, you paused, right? Yep. Let's hide the UI and just enjoy this massive lag explosion. Oh wow, as you could see, my laptop was definitely really struggling with the amount of dynamites that we that we had over here. But hey, at least that is another level down. And I believe we can start scheduling in some more dynamites right about here. Are you still able to reach? Yes, you are. So that's fantastic. And in here, let's do another set of stairs as well. Maybe we did this too early. Yeah, we still have another 13 days to go, but it's fine. It's okay. At least this whole area is looking very, very lovely already. So we could even let some more water through. How about 2.5? And yep, yeah, we should fill it up pretty quickly. Water levels. Ooh, almost forgot to check. How much water do we have? 460. Okay, so that's still fine. And you are slowly... No, you're not filling up. You're going down quite a lot. 
Okay, I think it's time to figure out how we can pump out even more water from this area. So for that, it seems these little pools are quite full, aren't they? So how about we do a few pumps? Oh, that's going to be quite a few platforms. Why don't we do them, I guess, from here? Okay, so that's going to be one, maybe two. Two is right about here, isn't it? Yep, and we'll stick you. We spin you around. That should be good, right? It's three levels, not just two. And we'll connect them up with rows. Okay, here we go. Wait a second. No, one more. Carry on, Beavis. There's another set of dynamites right over here. We still have enough. Yes, 1,300, so plenty. One more level. And we can almost move these platforms a little bit closer. And then in return, once the drought is over, I think we'll just detonate this whole area down another level as well. Okay, fantastic. Now, these resources have not really moved out from here. But that's okay. We'll just uh, take these roads and buildings out. And uh, right, right, right. I guess it's time when the uh, night hits, I'll probably just reconnect everything. And, and that way we can get rid of those drop-off points as well. So that's been quite a quite a bit of preparations we've had to do. And yeah, maybe I should have said it actually at the start because some people really love to see how we're planning things out and uh, what's the sort of thought process behind it. But I also understand there's definitely you know, some people that uh, just want to see the results and that is fine. So I think, yeah, this was more enjoyable for the uh, people of the that I mentioned first. So uh, I think in the future, I'll also try and do some quicker results and summaries for sure as well. But yeah, I'll keep this episode pretty short. So right now we've done quite a bit. I definitely have to do a little bit of off camera work in here and we'll maybe even start doing another layer as well. Oh, wait a second. A few more dynamites to go. Okay, fantastic. And let's quickly check on this progress here. Uh, almost 200 created blanks. So yeah, I think I'll try and power through offline to get this done. So in the next episode, we can already start doing some more scrap metal, which gives us the metal. So we can do all these metal platforms in here. And for this district now, everything seems pretty good so far oh yeah water is an issue yeah but once we get those platforms in we'll get some more uh, water pumps which gives us more water then we'll transfer it over and i'll have these routes reset as well so and then we can start planning out the amusement park so yeah everything is kind of like you know it's a bit of a snowball effect we we need to start with the foundation once the foundation is in place we can improve everything else and it seems the wood workshop is now in place and giving us even more three blanks if we have the power yes we do so that's all good okay yes enough uh, talking doing i'll try and focus on less things in the in the last episode and maybe maybe just uh yeah try and build a couple of section instead of going everywhere but to be fair in my defense this is how i typically play it's uh, i don't just focus in one area only i try and look everything as a whole and uh, jump back and forth every well not every all the time pretty much so but yeah i do understand if it is a little bit difficult to follow so but all right so let's cut the episode over here bit of a shorter one but hope you enjoyed and i look forward to seeing you in the next one